Hi, so I'm doing a little experiment with my hand spun and I'm going to use it to make a swatch. So I'm going to start with a slip knot and I'm chaining multiples of six plus two for the foundation. Okay, so that is 26. For row one, we're going to start by single crocheting into the second chain from the hook. We're chaining three. Skip two. And we are working a cluster in the next chain. So a cluster is three double crochet together. So we are yarning over, inserting, draw the loop, draw through two, and repeating that into the same stitch, yarn over, insert, draw the loop, draw through two, now we do that one more time, yarn over, insert, draw the loop, draw through two. We have four loops on our hook. We're going to yarn over and draw through all four. And that is your cluster. Now we will chain three. Skip two and one single crochet into the next stitch. And then that is what we will repeat across. Again, we're gonna chain three, skip two, cluster into the next stitch which is yarn over, draw the loop, pull through two, like we're doing a double crochet. Yarn over, insert, draw the loop, that's two, and then we're gonna do it one more time. Yarn over, insert, into the same stitch, draw the loop, draw through two, we have four loops on the hook, draw through all four. Now we're going to chain three and repeat what we did. We skipped two and we're single crocheting into the next. We have three chains remaining. We're going to skip two and work a single crochet into the last stitch. And this is what the first row will look like. Okay, so for row two, this begins one of the repeats. We're going to repeat rows two and three for the pattern, but we're going to begin with row two. So we're going to chain five. Turn the work. This chain five will count as one double crochet in a chain two space. We're gonna single crochet into this chain space right here. And we're going to chain three. And then we're gonna cluster into this next chain space right here, right here. So we're gonna do a three double crochet cluster. So one, two, three. Draw through the four loops. And we're going to chain three. And this is what we're repeating. Chain three, single crochet 
into the next chain three space, chain three, cluster into the next chain three space. Draw through the floor, chain three, single crochet into this next chain three space, chain three, three double crochet cluster into the next chain three space. Draw through all four. Chain three, single crochet into the next. Now this is the last cluster we're gonna make. Chain three. We're gonna cluster into this. Chain space. And Draw through all four, and then we're going to double crochet into the last single crochet. And, and it looks like this. Okay, so for row three, it's included in the repeat. We're repeating two and three. So I'm going to show you three. So we're going to chain one, turn our work. We're going to single crochet back into that double crochet. We're going to chain three, which begins the repeat. And we're going to cluster into the Next, chain three space, so three double crochet cluster. Draw through all four, chain three, into this space here, we're going to single crochet and we're just going to repeat that again. We're going to chain three, three double crochet cluster which is three double crochet together, draw through four, chain three, single crochet into the next chain space. So this is basically the repeat. All you have to know is how to begin and end the row. Chain three, three double crochet together, cluster. And now this pattern is really, really fun to do. Chain three, single crochet into the last chain three space into the third chain of the turning chain so i'm counting from the base one sorry one two three i probably went off cam one two three and we're just single crocheting into that space right there or into that um, third chain up of the turning chain. So this is what it looks like and we're going to just repeat two and three for this pattern. 